you sick of managing location profiles in ArcGIS field maps? Having to educate your organization's employees on when and where to use each? Having to remember WKIDs, EPSGs, and at the end of the day, just wondering what are these? You might be seeing offsets much like this one where you see about a one meter difference in points to the southeast and northwest, or maybe even about a foot or so in the northeast and southwest. Well, look no further than raster tiled base maps. We're going to walk you through the whole process of how to get these custom projected base maps from rasters, either from your organization or ArcGIS Online, or from a source like Earth Explorer as we're displaying right here. Doing this will allow your layers, your base map, as well as your GPS receiver like your Bad Elf, all to be in the same exact datum preventing these transformation errors and really simplifying the whole field workflow process for your team. So what we're doing right here is just downloading a TIFF file from Earth Explorer to use as a base map. This can be from NAIP or from Landsat, depending on your resolution needs. So once you get that downloaded, add it to ArcGIS Pro, and we're going to open up the Project Raster tool. This is going to create a new file in the new projection that you designate. This could be state plane, UTM, or whatever you're using. Next, we're going to use the manage tile cache tool. This is going to create a template for your tile cache that you're going to share to ArcGIS online. You're going to define your levels of tiles as well as file name and folder name. For your input parameters, I would recommend keeping the defaults other than obviously naming your cache, creating a new folder or choosing one, and finally choosing your input data source, which is just your raster. Next, we're going to use the export tile cache tool. This is going to be very similar workflow. Just go ahead and name the cache something slightly different, indicating it's going to be shared online. We recommend using the defaults just like before. Now that we've created our tile caches, it's time to share them with the world. You're going to look up share package in the geo processing pane and open up the toolbox. So when you have this open, make sure you share it as a web layer. Your base map is going to be set as a web layer. If you just do tile package, you won't be able to use it in a web map. So make sure you select that as well any tags, summary, or the specific folder you're going to put it in and then click share. This might take a minute, so please be patient. Once your share layer tool is complete, go to ArcGIS Online and navigate to the folder that you shared it to. You should be able to confirm that your tile layer is shared successfully. Uh, it should be located within this folder as the tile layer, not the tile package is the one we're looking for. Once you're ready to set it as a base map for your intended map, just go navigate to your map and then search for it under add layer. Once you locate your tile layer, just select add as base map. Once you do this, all of your coordinates in this map will be reported as the projection and datum you set it as. So for many customers in North America and the United States, this will be NAD 83, and then potentially your state plane projection as well. That'll be in northings and eastings instead of latitudes and longitudes. If you have any questions, please leave them below. We'll be more than happy to assist. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.